and gentlemen, without any further ado, a big round of applause and a tower welcome for the Comedy Network. We will get on with our feature presentation after this commercial. Hi, I'm Seymour Butts, and I would like to talk to you about bathing today. Yes, that's right, bathing today. The magazine all about bathing in the 80s. Bathing today is full of interesting articles to answer all your washing questions. And if you call right now, we'll send you 12 issues of bathing today for only $19.99. That's $10 below the newsstand price. Simply call 1-800-BODY-WASH. But wait, that's not all. If you call right now, we'll also send you, with your 12 issues, this baby shower. Free. But wait, there's still more. We'll give you the baby shower and the soap on the rope. So, are you dialing now? No! No! Well, what if we also gave you, to go with your soap on the rope, the sensational shampoo in a shoe? <laughs> Simply call 1 800 Bodwash. Are you dialing the number? No! Okay, here's the deal. If you call right now, We'll send you 12 backfield issues, the baby shower, the soap on the rope, the shampoo in the shoe, and a conditioner in a Harry Kushner. <laughs> this offer will not be repeated, so call now. Joe Carson and Jenna Kerr, your green guasha, with your tip for the day. Now, folks, there's a new vegetable, the a new vegetable at the market. It's from Russia, and it's grown in the Ukraine Valley. Now, folks, it's called a Chernopolo. You can, you can tell if your Chernopolo's right if it's warm and it has that nice radiant glow. Incidentally, a chinopal rope is an excellent source of vitamins and minerals, including uranium. <laughs> now, I have to tell you folks, don't microwave it because it's already loaded. <laughs> and folks, you don't have to cook it because it's already cooked. <laughs> Incidentally, folks, a chinopal rope will go excellently with your chicken Kiev. This is Joe Carcinogenic, your green grocer, with your tip for the day. It's story time. This is a bitter but sweet story of Peppermint Patty. Okay, being that Peppermint Patty worked at a casino and it was Tuesday, it was payday. So she thought she'd go out and look for a bit of honey. So she went down to Networks and she met these three guys. They called themselves the Three Musketeers. These guys were young. They were, uh, you know, pretty much junior mints. Hey, we are talking milk duds. I mean, granola dips all the way. So Peppermint tells them, hey, why don't you guys go down to the Kit Kat Ranch and buy some Twix, huh? And she goes back to the bar, and guess who she meets? Mr. Good Bar. Yes! So Mr. Good Bar says, hey, what do you say we take a ride in my truck? She goes, okay. So they start down Fifth Avenue, and they go right past the powerhouse. Right on down this rocky road. So they park, and uh, Mr. Goodbar starts laying the heavy romance on her, you know. Hey, you know, I took astrology. That's Mars right over there. And she says, oh, look, a starburst. 
Well, it wasn't. It wasn't long after that that Mr. Goodbar laid some kisses on Peppermint. Yeah, and he went for her mound. She says, Oh, Henry! She pulls down her Snickers and she says, I want you to be my sugar daddy. May I remind you folks, don't be offended because these are only candy bars. Okay, they're only candy bars. Mr. Goodbar is thinking to himself, hey, I'm going to score. <laughs> so he got out his, uh, his, you know, you know. <laughs> you know what he got out. His whatchamacallit. That's right. So Patty says to herself, my God, he's a big hunk. Talking good and funny. <laughs> but it does have a sad ending, I regret to say. No. They were too carefree, and she ended up having a baby root. <laughs> But that's okay, man. Can we do this again?